Hey. We gotta celebrate. You did something good tonight. Yeah. Fury was right. Tony did a lot for me, so I owe it to him, to everybody. Do you? Yeah. I mean, Mr. Stark gave me the chance to be more. He wanted me to be better than him. And Fury just wants me to live up to that. What do you want, Peter? What do you mean? What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want, you, Peter Parker, now? I know you're thinking about I it. I want to go on my trip, right? I want to go back on my trip with my friends and go to the top of the Eiffel Tower with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel and give her a kiss. No. Uh, shut up, man. <laughs> You're not gonna do that, are you? No, I can't. Why not? Because I have too much of a responsibility. I mean, that for the vampire. Oh my God! Thank mm. you so much. What are those? Are those the Edith glasses? Yeah. They were just on the floor. Try them on. Let's see how they look on you. Yeah. Yeah. I actually really like them. Can I be completely honest with you? Please. They look really stupid. Oh. But maybe they have a contact lens version of them. You try them on. No, come on. Try them on. I don't want. I don't want to try them on. Come on. <sighs> what do you think, kid? Next Tony Stark, I trust you. For the next Tony Stark, I trust you. What? Mr. Stark left me a message with those glasses. For the next Tony Stark, I trust you. I'm still not following. How many lemonades have you had? He knew every mistake I ever made, okay? So he must have known that I was not ready for something like this. Why would he give it to you? Because maybe he didn't trust me to have Edith. He just trusted me to pick who should. It makes so much more sense. He always knew I would do what's right, and he's not going to give them to Fury because Fury would just give himself Edith. All right, you're probably right about that. Right, so the world needs the next Iron Man. And it's not gonna be me. I mean, I'm a 16-year-old kid from Queens. It needs to be an adult with some experience and that's good like Tony Stark, like you. No, Peter, come on. No. Edith? Hello, Peter. Hi. Yeah, um, I'd like to transfer your control over to Quentin Beck. Peter, what are you doing? Doing the right thing. <laughs> Any transfer will require confirmation. Stark gave you the glass. Stark gave me a choice. It's my choice to make, okay? And I'm gonna make it. Look, you're a soldier, a leader. You stopped the elementals. You saved my life. You saved the world, okay? He'd want you to have them. Waiting for confirmation. Confirm. Welcome to the Avengers. Look good on you. Thank you. It's an honor. Yeah. Mr. Stark would have really liked you. Where are you headed? I'm gonna go find MJ. Good luck, kid. I'll give you about a 50-50 chance. You're pretty awkward, so. <laughs> yeah. See you later, man. See ya. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Somebody get this stupid costume off me! Okay, we got Edith. Get these connected to our system. Oh, this is a big win, but we still got a lot of work to do. Okay, Toads! Give me that, Doug. To the man who brought us all together, our former boss, Tony Stark. Ooh. The Jester King, literally wrapped in wealth and technology that he was unfit to wield. 
like the holographic system I designed. A revolutionary breakthrough with limitless applications that Tony turned into a self-therapy machine and renamed Binarily Augmented Retroframing, or BARF. <laughs> oh, $611 million for my little therapeutic experiment. He renamed my life's work, BARF. I told him it was a mistake, that my technology could change the world. And then, he fired me. Said I was unstable. To Tony! To Tony! Next to William. <laughs> Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. The integration of my illusion tech with your weaponized drones was brilliant. Powerful illusions, real damage, worked like a charm. And it's just the beginning. Thank you, brother. To Guterman. Guterman. To Guterman. The story you created of a soldier from another Earth named Quentin fighting space monsters in Europe is totally ridiculous and apparently exactly the kind of thing people will believe right now. I mean, everybody bought it. <laughs> to Victoria. To Victoria. Staging electromagnetic pulses at each attack site so Fury's own satellites would confirm our lies. Inspired idea. To Janice. Yeah! After Tony died, she was the one who discovered that Edith was being handed over, not to us, not to the Defense Department, but to a child. Thank you. To Janice! And to the rest of you, Tony Stark is gone. There is a window of opportunity and someone will step up. But these days, you can be the smartest guy in the room, the most qualified, and no one cares. Unless you're flying around with a cape or shooting lasers from your hands, no one will even listen. Well, I've got a cape and lasers. <laughs> with our technology and with Edith, Mysterio will be the greatest hero on Earth. Yes! Then everyone will listen. Not to a boozy man-child. No! Not to a hormonal teenager. No! To me and to my very wealthy crew. To us. To us. To Mysterio! To Mysterio! To Peter Parker! To Peter Parker! Poor kid. Let's get to work.